she suffered injuries to her arm, but she is expected to be okay. Internet access seems like it is everywhere, but the pandemic has shined a light on the lack of broadband, especially in rural communities. Our Sloan O'Cone is live in the studio to tell us how companies are stepping up to expand access. Aiken Electric and Carolina Connect are joining forces to bring rural areas the high-speed internet they desperately need. Today, Aiken Electric Cooperative celebrated their connection, and it's just the beginning for the co-op because of their first fiber optic cables are lit. The $100 million project will take three years to complete. So far, most of the backbone of the project has been installed, 300 miles of fiber optic cables. The co-op will provide extremely fast internet to over 49,000 people in nine counties, Aiken, Barnwell, Calhoun, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lexington, McCormick, Orangeburg, and Saluda. They say it's time to bring rural areas to the 21st century with their internet, which could be life-changing for teachers like Ashley Brown. I feel like we're overlooked sometimes and now like that we have it we'll be able to you know keep up with them and get things done share with our old internet it would take forever for things to upload um, we would do zoom calls and mine would like drop out in the middle so being able to have things to help them like resources I can find at home for extra practice I think that will help them tremendously too. Aiken Electric Co-op's Tri-City substation is up and running. The first to get high-speed access in the area are Wagner, Sally, and Perry. On News 12 at 6 o'clock, I'm working on a story about how this isn't just a South Carolina thing. I'm looking at opportunities in both South Carolina and Georgia. Thanks so much for that live update, Sloan. This is a live to about 10 minutes. Riley, thanks a lot. Jeff stood to our newsroom this afternoon. The Grove Town Department of Public Safety needs your help finding a runaway teen. So take a look. Officers say 16-year-old Genesis Sammons was last seen this morning around 8 on Willow Lake Drive in Evans. She was driving a 2006 Maroon Ford Focus wearing a black Adidas jacket and blue jeans. If you have any information that might help find her, call Public Safety. The number is right there on your screen. An investigation is underway into a body found right near Aiken Regional. This was a scene a little earlier today, right behind the gynecology office off of University Parkway. That is right next to the hospital. It's across the street from USC Aiken's campus. The Aiken County Coroner's Office says they were called out after someone walking their dog out there found the body. The identity, the cause of death, those have not been released yet, but Aiken Public Safety and SLED are investigating this case. Also this evening, access to high-speed internet might sound like an automatic thing in 2021, but thousands of people in this area still don't have access. And this isn't just important for surfing Facebook. It has been crucial for students learning remotely, doing homework, or for parents working from home. In Aiken County, 22% of the county does not have it. A quarter of Burke County is without it, too. In Richmond County, there is access, but our I-team found 15% of Richmond County parents Say their child doesn't have the internet at home. In more rural counties like Allendale or Bamberg, that number is at half. Now there's a new push in both states to get everyone online. Sloan O'Cone shows us those efforts. On the South Carolina side today, Aiken Electric announced a partnership with Carolina Connect. The goal, bring high-speed internet to nine South Carolina counties, including Aiken, Edgefield, and Orangeburg. But it's not just South Carolina. Georgia is dealing with this as well. Internet access is all measured in bits. While just about everyone has access to those bits, it's not just having internet in this day and age. It's about having fast internet. For speeds of up to one gigabit per second. Think about that for a second. Gigabit speeds in rural South Carolina. This is going to be transformational. Before the co-op, nearly 80% of Aiken County had access to just 25 megabits per second. Ashley West, a third grade school teacher, remembers the struggle. With our old internet, it would take forever for things to upload. Um, we would do Zoom calls and mine would like drop out in the middle. To put that in perspective, 100 megabits is good quality internet. This new program would give them access to one gigabit internet. One gig, 40 times faster than what they have now. And Jackie Busby is an attorney and knows how crucial that is. There's nothing like panicking five minutes before hearing because you cannot get on. 
here in Augusta, the average download speed is 73 megabits per second. The new co-op will bring access to 49,000 people in rural South Carolina. Still here in Richmond County, nearly 7,000 people don't have any access to any wired internet, and 12,000 people only have access to one or fewer providers. While there's a lot of improvement left in both states, for people in rural South Carolina, this is a big step. We believe that no matter where you live, you deserve high-speed internet access. Just this week, Governor Kemp talked about this. He says plans to use federal COVID relief funds to explore expanding across our state, no matter your zip code. Hundreds of families in Augusta are facing eviction when the moratorium expires at the end of the month. On top of that, the $300 federal 